run and knit him against. And this is the man that they're telling a jury is a credible witness yeah. and they should put their faith and trust in. Come on, come on. This case, this case, more than any case that I've ever seen, marks the death knell of this notion of frigging British justice. Yeah. Yeah. British justice is a joke. Yeah, it's a desperate joke. Yeah, yeah, the first time I want to say publicly on the camera, I feel sorry for the family of PC Blaker. All right. Because surely hmm. they'd come to terms with the death of their family member. Hmm. Surely they'd come to terms with the fact that the police were incompetent, incapable, unable, unwilling to find the killers of their family member. And then 29 years later, they're being fed this bullshit. Yeah. They're being fed witnesses who come into the court and say, we lied. Yes. Witnesses who rest say, in peace. I gave people's names because I didn't like them. That's right. Witnesses who have been paid five Thousand pounds. Witnesses, witnesses who want to claim the hundred thousand pounds that the proprietor of the news of the world has offered. Yeah. And witnesses who also want the next forty thousand pounds that the Met has offered. Right, the big money. So let's be clear. Pay five thousand pounds. Pay their rent. Pay money by doing deals with judges in cases where they should be given seven years. Had their internet paid for, had their telephone paid for, and when they forgot to get on a plane to come back from Spain, had their plane tickets paid for. Is there any way that these people who are all heroin addicts, are there, is there any way that these people should be in a court of law no. testifying no. to the Bible no. that somebody no. else is guilty of a crime? No. And before we forget, witness one put the murder scene at half a mile away from where the police officer was actually killed. Witness two named 13 people for eight years that he told them was the murderer and then come on, come on. decided I made a mistake. It was Nicky Jacobs. He told me in prison and when we checked the prison records, lo and behold, he was there but Nicky Jacobs wasn't. No, no, no. What is happening in this court today no, no. is a disgrace. Yeah. It's an absolute disgrace. And if I, if I was a youth, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be outside here cussing what's going on in there. Yes. I'd be in Tottenham saying to my brethren, it feels like one of those days when we're going to have to lose our mental well-being for a couple minutes to maintain our mental well-being for a long time. It feels like one of those days when we have to forgo our dignity short term to maintain our dignity long term. They think that they're the highest court in the land, but they're not. They have given up their right to be listened to. Yeah. They've given up their right to be respected. Yeah. So what is happening in this court today probably wouldn't happen in a third world That's right. country. Yeah. That's but right. we don't know, because we won't allow the cameras in there. We don't know, because we won't allow the media in there. We don't know, because in England, in the highest criminal court in the land, we will not do what they will do yeah. in South Africa, which yeah. is to allow justice to be seen, to be done, done. as well as done. No justice, no peace. 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 I call upon the judge, who I'm not going to name, 
because his behavior is not worthy of giving him a title. But we call upon the judge in this case to do the right thing, to do the decent thing, to do the thing you've been trained to do, and to chuck out this case now. Yes. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! This afternoon, we're going to see these characters that they call police handlers. These are the characters that be responsible for dealing with the informants. These are the characters who have known without a shred of a doubt that the informers are not... This is my cover, Tottenham. I'm going to mess it up. Who's the riots? That's when they send the drugs. That's when the drugs came in the top. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. 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 and the cocaine. Typical. Yeah. Because yeah. our yeah. community yeah. was so yeah. strong. Yeah. Because our community was too strong. Yeah. They decided to wait for us to walk us down with the drugs. Yes. So unfortunately, I know enough people who have been afflicted with the use of heroin and crack cocaine. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you about these kids. Let me tell you about crackheads. Let me tell you about crackheads. If they tell you it's daytime, turn your torch on. Turn your lights on. They are the most lionish people on the planet. They will tell you anything that they need to tell you yeah. to get their next sick. They will sell you their mother and their sister and their brother and their father. They will tell you anything you want to hear to get your next fix. So let me tell you about John Brown. When the police put John Brown in a hotel for three nights because they wanted to interview him for three days, he stayed for half a night and then he thought to hell with this. He came downstairs to the reception and he said, give me that my money. And the receptionist gave him the police's money and he took it and he went and he bought heroin. Yeah. He went and he got his fix. And the police came back for him and they cleaned him up and they told him what to say and they gave him £5,000 before a court case was even heard, which means they gave him the money to go and get his fix, so they would have the strength and the conviction to come in this court and to lie. But lying is not justice. Oh, oh. Stand up a man with no evidence after you've had the original case where the whole entire investigation folded cannot be justice. But though the police, though the police still maintain their position, we need to remember that they weren't the only players in the original investigation. In the original investigation, the QC who sent Winston, Mark and Amy to prison for three years, for 30 years, his name was Roy Amloff. When we proved that Winston Silcott was framed, Roy Amloff said, Your Honours, had I known what they did to Winston Silcott, I wouldn't have gone against Braithwaite, I wouldn't have gone against Ragged. In fact, I wouldn't have prosecuted none of the Baldwell Farm cases. That prosecutor, who was the top prosecutor in the land, has never prosecuted again. So tainted was he by what the police and the DPP involved him in, he has chosen never to prosecute again. The judges who freed Winston Silcott, Lord Chief Justice Farquharson, for the first time ever, and he's the guy who freed the Birmingham Six, freed the Guildford Four, for the first time ever, 
He apologized to the Tottenham Free for what the police and the state had done to them. Hmm. So this isn't just about the police. The judiciary yeah. should right. have learned yeah. Yeah. Corrupt the judiciary. The judiciary should not. Yeah. The judiciary should not be allowing this case to go forward yeah. because you see the that there is the most unbelievable, the most incredible, uncredible, unbelievable witnesses ever brought together to put on a case yeah. is in this case trying to send somebody to prison for life. Yeah. We, yes. we say save taxpayers money, stop wasting taxpayers money, yes. dash out this case now. Yes. When do we want? Justice. When do we want it? No. When do we want? Justice. When do we want it? No. When do we want? Justice.